Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna give you five steps you can do to instantly improve your forehand. And the great news about this is you don't need to be a super athlete. Anybody at any level is gonna benefit from this video. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, number one, the number one thing you wanna do is your first move. You wanna nail that. It might be the most important thing you do with your forehand that's going to pretty much tell the story of what's gonna happen after you get ready. And so I like to call this the gunslinger unit turn. Everybody's probably heard of the unit turn, but I like to think about it like you're a gunslinger, like you're in the wild, wild west and you're in a shootout. And so think about what you'd need to do to win that gunfight. You'd need to make a very precise move. It needs, it needs to be consistent and it needs to be fast, okay? So what you wanna do as a tennis player, that gunslinger unit turn is you, you're in a great ready position, first of all. Lots of people don't realize that they're not in a good ready position. Their feet aren't on balance. They're not in a proper ready position. And so if you get a nice split step, it gets easy to go right away into that unit turn. And when you watch the pros, we're gonna show you some pros getting ready right now. When you watch the pros, notice how they're holding onto that racket. Why are they doing that? They're holding onto that racket, again, to be consistent, but also to promote the entire core loading up, getting ready to strike. It's one of the biggest differences between a professional hitting the ball and an amateur hitting the ball is the pros, they hit the ball with the kinetic chain. Every ounce of their body is being unloaded into the shot and it creates easy power. Where if you're out there and you feel like you're working really, really hard, there's a good chance that you are arming your forehand and therefore it feels, the ball feels heavy, you feel late often and you don't get a lot of power. So make sure that you get to that gunslinger unit turn and you're gonna be on your way to hitting an amazing forehand. Okay, step number two to instantly improve your forehand. Anybody's forehand out there is gonna get better if you do this. And this is one of those things that if you wanna look impressive, you wanna look fantastic and ready to hit a tennis ball, when someone takes a picture of you, you wanna look like a pro, then you gotta bust out the measuring stick. And so if you watch the pros, they'll get in that unit turn, then the next thing they're gonna do is they're not gonna forget about their non-dominant arm. In fact, they're gonna straighten it out and they're gonna get ready. Now, what is this doing? This is doing a lot of things. First of all, it's making sure that you don't release your core too early. A lot of people will get into that unit turn and all of a sudden, there's so many pictures where I see people hitting their forehand like this or their arms like that. But you watch the pros, you go into any tennis magazine, I like to call this in your face form, you're gonna see that pro getting ready and that arm is out there to the side. So by holding this here, now I can still unleash all of my core, all of my body into the shot as you see these pros doing right now. And it just looks fantastic. Another thing it's going to do one of the biggest things I see people have a problem with is spacing. They get too close to the tennis ball. And you can actually use your off hand as a measuring stick. If that ball is coming under your hand, guess what? You're gonna be too close to the ball. You wanna make sure that ball is coming outside the hand so you can hit. So guys, as you can see this, if I'm here and that ball is coming under my hand right now and I go to hit it, I'm gonna be too close. I'm gonna be cramped. But if I wait on it, and I start to unload my core and I hit outside of the hand. Now look at that contact and I'm able to strike a very, very clean tennis ball that feels oh so satisfying. All right, we're gonna go to tip number three on how to instantly improve your forehand. Hey, if you're still watching this video because you found the first two tips helpful, the rest of the tips are gonna be great. So if you feel like you've already been helped, what I'd like you to do right now is to like this video. And one of the cool things about liking this video is you get 100 free B2 puppy kisses. What's one of the biggest reasons why Roger Federer is so popular to watch? It's because his form is beautiful, it's flawless. And one of the things that we are mesmerized by is his eyes at contact and how long he stays down. So if you want to be like the great Roger Federer, well, you can do one simple thing. You can go out there and practice this today. Practice this one tip today and see how you go. When the ball is coming, you're gonna get there. Remember, you're getting your gunslinger prep. You're getting that measuring stick out. And then as you go to hit, just keep your eyes down on the ball. Maybe count for like one second, hit it, go one Mississippi, 
and then lift up your head. I like to call this Fed Focus because there's video after video out there and the coaches always talk about this to their students like watch Roger Federer's head at contact. Watch it after contact. He's staying focused right on that contact point which most likely is going to be just about out, out in front of your foot. You get it right out in front of your foot or if you're hitting an open stance it's still just slightly out in front there. That's where you want and you hit it and you just look at that spot and trust your shot. And what you're going to do is by the time you lift your head up, most of the time because that contact was so clean, you're going to see an awesome forehand, you're going to see your opponent struggling to get to the ball, and you better be ready for that short ball because you're about to put the point away. Alright, we're going to be right back with tip number four. Okay guys, tip number four to instantly improve that forehand. Again, you go out to the court, you do this today, you're going to start to feel really, really smooth. Tennis is so fun when you're hitting the ball smoothly through the court. The game feels effortless, it what brings us back to the game. So, one of the things you can do to stop arming your shot and working so hard is to really focus on your back hip as you're hitting. Feel when you're getting ready that you actually bring the glute back to the wall, back to the fence, getting set, and then when you're going to release, you feel it push into the ball. It's going to push in, notice it's going to push in before the racket even moves. And if you make that commitment, then it's easy to swing through the shot without holding back, right? We don't want that forced deceleration, we want natural deceleration. So we commit that hip in there, and one of the things you can do is practice on just dragging the toe up a little bit. You see how that toe's just sliding up a little bit? I'm getting here, I'm hitting, and I'm just sliding that toe up a little bit as I'm going then you're going to hit nice smooth shots. Look at that. I'm going to just commit to slide up the toe in every shot there as I'm hitting and it feels really really nice. That last one I did the fed focus and that was my best shot. So there you go guys, that's tip number four to instantly improve that forehand. We'll be back with tip number five. Okay guys, you don't want to miss my last tip. It's really good. Also you don't want to miss any more of my videos if you love tennis. So uh, do me a big favor right now and do yourself a big favor if you love tennis and subscribe to this channel and also very, very important, ding that notification bell. When you do that you'll always be notified that a new video is out and also it buys you on unlimited puppy kisses from B2. All right, let's get to the last tip. Okay, tip number five to instantly improve your forehand. If you do these tips, I'm telling you, you're going to feel so great on the court today. You're going to hit really, really clean. And one of the things that's really confusing, when you watch the pros play, they're following through in all kinds of different ways to create different shots. And you want to be able to do that too. All right, but there is a home base. I want you to make sure that you know that home base follow through and you have it just dialed in because you look at Rafael Nadal, he likes to finish a lot over his head. You watch Roger Federer, he likes to finish a lot across his shoulder or sometimes you'll see Novak Djokovic even finish down by his pants. In fact, you'll see all the pros do all those shots depending on what they want to hit. But you go out to the practice court, go out to an amazing tournament if we can ever get back out there, right? The next time you're able to go out and watch an amazing player play, especially in the warming up, Notice how many of them are following through and catching the racket over the shoulder. I'm telling you, you might think it's old school, but how come all the pros today? I've not been to one single tournament where I have not looked at the practice court and noticed a lot of pros. I'm not saying every single pro, but I would say a lot of pros, especially when they first start hitting, they're having that home base follow through, which is catching the racket over the shoulder. Why is that? Because tennis is a game of consistency. It's a game of being repetitive and doing things the right way. If you learn how to create that follow through over your shoulder and catch it, you know that you're completing the swing, that you're not holding back, right? That other hand helps you verify that you're done, okay? And make sure that that butt cap is now facing towards the opposite court, towards your opponent. If you do that, you know that you have finished. Another thing it's going to promote is a nice low to high swing, which is going to help you get that ball over the net, especially if you know how to hit top spin. Okay, so very important, let's summarize this video and also watch this video to the very end because I am going to send home with you today some really cool bonus 
bonus tips, especially if you want to improve your forehand. So the first tip is to make sure that you get that gunslinger preparation, that it's consistent, it's quick and smooth, and it's in the same spot every single time, and that you're holding on to that racket just like the pros. Number two is the measuring stick. Make sure you're using that offhand to get that spacing just right, just perfect, and if the ball's coming under there, you know that you're too close. You gotta work on your spacing. Number three, which is a lot of fun, which you can go out to the court today, and you can see instant improvement is the fed focus. Having the ball come in, watching the contact, and just keeping it there for a beat. I give yourself a one Mississippi count, and then you look up, I'm telling you, you'll still have enough time to be ready for the next ball. Number four is we wanna make sure as they say in Happy Gilmore, it's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. Yeah, it's all in the hips. And so what we want to do is we want to focus on dragging that back toe up a little bit and make sure that you're feeling kind of like a stretch in here in your hip and the racket has not moved yet. If you're doing that, you're doing it right. If you feel that your swing is coming first and then you're pushing your hips, you're doing it in reverse order. You gotta stop doing that. Okay, number five is fundamental finishes still count. They still matter. They're still new school. They're not outdated. If you watch any professional practice, you're gonna notice that often they start and they're having that nice, clean, consistent finish. This makes sure that your stroke is dialed in, that you're not holding onto the racket too tight, that you're getting to the proper spot and it's really, really awesome. So, if you like today's video, one of the things I want you to do is actually go up here. Right here, I've got a video for you on the unit turn. And we're gonna focus on getting what Dr. Mark Kovacs talked about as a Coke bottle unit turn, which is gonna get you extra, extra power. People really loved it. And then right below that video, I actually have a free course for you that I took my own training with tennis to upgrade my own forehand. I spent $6,000 of my own money. I took a lesson with the great Rick Macy who coached the Williams sisters, Andy Roddick, Sophia Kennan, who won the Australian Open last year. And also I had a lesson with the great Jeff Saldenstein and Dr. Mark Kovacs who works with the best pros in the world. So you can get that absolutely 100% free. It's a three part train series. And don't forget to like this video if you want 100 free puppy kisses from B2. And if you want unlimited puppy kisses from B2, then definitely subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Oh, and don't forget to ding that notification bell. Do it. Do it. <laughs>